एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ हर्षी एंड वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल आई एम हर्षी एंड आई एम अ सेकेंड ईयर लॉ स्टूडेंट एट जी एल सी मुंबई वेल द लास्ट सेंटेंस इज ऑफ अटमोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंस इन दिस वीडियो दैट आई एम अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ जी एल सी मुंबई एंड हैंस आई नो द प्रोज एंड कॉन्स ऑफ दिस कॉलेज इट्स बिन टू ईयर्स एंड आई प्रेड मच नो ऑल अबाउट इट नाउ सो वेन आई वॉज सर्चिंग थ्रू यूट्यूब एंड गूगल वेन आई वॉज टेकिंग एडमिशन I found all the pros of the college, and um, hence I'm trying to make this video to let you know the cons of this college. Also, each college has its pros and cons. Um, I thought, why not make, why not tell you the cons so that you can make an informed choice, and so that you know both the sides of the coins, uh, coin. Um, although the pros still weigh a lot, lot higher. Um. I would be talking about it in the next video. This video is specifically about the cons. So, if you are one of the aspirants who's looking to take admission in JLC, well, this video is for you. So, when you come to college, when you visit the college, what is the first thing that you notice? You notice the infrastructure of the college, right? So, infrastructurally, it is not that sound. Um, when you imagine a government college you expect it to be little bit like iits or nits with huge campus trees growing along the campus like that that is not the case it is just outside the church gate station it has a four storied building and a small compound around it that's it that's the college that's it um apart from that uh, the internal infrastructure uh, in terms of like you know the how the classes are built and how the library is built um the the classes are pretty huge the library is also very huge but again it is not you know technologically itna sound uh, it does not have ac uh, it does not have wifi uh, connection and so yeah it is not that big of a con but today uh, these all things do matter a little bit like you know a good wifi connection or something like that so that's there uh, glc does not provide all of that things so infrastructurally externally also and internally also it is not that sound okay so the second thing that uh, comes after infrastructure is the administration of the college so the administration of the college is again not very technologically sound um if you write an email to the administration you probably would not get um reply till weeks and months also sometimes so if you call the administration you your call would be forwarded maybe two to three times before you finally get your answer so that's there um we cannot blame the college for that because it's a government college um but in comparison to other private universities and other you know well built universities it can get improved to some extent uh, in terms of technology so yeah the administration in college is pretty pretty okay and um, inconvenience might be felt to you during your time in college in regards to administration so yeah that's there okay so the third con of glc is that um academically it is not really that strong again uh, it is affiliated to the university of mumbai and the syllabus of university of mumbai is very very average very okay uh, a student in glc or for that matter any college under the university of mumbai for law studies only 3 to 4 subjects a sem whereas in other colleges it is normally 6 to 8 sem 6 uh, to 8 subjects per semester with you know presentations with research papers included whereas in glc it is not the case um, so yeah the subjects uh, during the first two years are again very very basic it is history it is logic it is um, law and literature so yeah uh, academically again it is not one of the strongest colleges that you will uh, get so the fourth con in glc that i feel is that uh, the research culture in the college is not really that prevalent uh, in other colleges people have a certain number of uh, research papers to be written there are certain number of re research projects to be undertaken whereas that is not the case here students do research and they are involved in all these activities but 
on an individual basis the college do not play a role in that students do get to research uh, a lot but due to the internships that they do on their individual basis students um, do excel at research in their moods but again that's something which is extracurricular co-curricular but not something that the college is providing them with so yeah the research culture is not something that's very very prevalent and that's one of the cons that i feel is the strongest amongst the four of them well i guess that's it for this video uh, i try speaking to a lot of people so that i do not provide you information on a subjective basis but on an objective basis uh, um, information that is felt by a lot of people and not just one um, in the next video I'll be talking about pros and trust me it will change how you you are looking at the college honestly I am very grateful to be here but I thought I have to and I should be telling you what are the negatives in the college also because that's how you should be making an analysis and that's how you should be making a correct choice right um, yeah that's it if you like this video you can let me know in the comment section below and if you want me to make any such other videos um feel free to comment down and i'll try making them uh well that's it good luck